<laughs> he told Mr. Hope that he could bring his CDs and his tapes. I said, that's what's in this truck? He goes, yeah. So Susan goes scrambles, and we get tables out. Now we're putting up his tapes and his CDs and his movies. He probably sold all three. He sold it out, you know, because I'll tell you what. This is where the founding fathers, this is it. This is, this is where Washington crossed the Delaware. This is it. We're talking about the very heart of it here. Now we've... Had commitments to do it in other cities sure. and stuff, but eventually, I'd love to be able to, with your, with your blessing, absolutely, to knock on the door. No answer. <clears throat> now, the, the Kennedy compound is just a picket fence. I always thought there'd be walls, there'd be there. No, just a picket fence, five houses, and a picket fence, and a beach. Wow. So, I, I'm knocking on the door three times. I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to do it. And I hear. Open the door, it's open. I open the door. I look up and I see bare feet coming down the staircase. And it's this 80 some odd year old woman, maybe old. She goes, You see this room? This is where me and John and Bobby and Jackie stood and we waited for the votes to come in. I said, Right here? She goes, Right here. I sit down. In comes Caroline. In comes Bobby Jr. In comes Teddy Jr. In comes the whole, in Yiddish has to say, the whole mishpucha, the whole family. <laughs> they come walking in. That is, so that's amazing. now she says, I swear to you, man, this is the truth. She goes, about an hour into the lunch, how about we all sing knock three times? <laughs> <laughs> I'm thinking, this can't be. She starts, knock three times on the ceiling if you want. And the family sing along with it. This is crazy. Now she goes, 10 minutes later, oh, let's do tie a yellow ribbon. <laughs> tie a yellow a cappella. Right? Oh, see this quaint thing of town of Easton. Is it, it Easton? Right? Easton. State Theater is Easton. Yeah. So I come over, and I, as I come down the street, a guy said to me, I said, boy, yeah, it's so nice for Christmas here, huh? He goes, you know, Bethlehem is just the next city over. I said, Bethlehem? Bethlehem? I said, I worked, I used to work at the Alpine State Fair. I said, is there a venue in Bethlehem? He goes, I don't think there's a theater like this, Tony, because I had a play in which had, I needed flies for sets like Broadway. Mm -hmm. Christmas play. So I go home, I turn to Susan, I said, Susan, someday, I said, I really, so I go online, and what do I see about um, five years ago, six years ago? Christmas City. Bethlehem, Pennsylvania? Correct. I go, Susan, I cannot believe this. I said, this is prophetic. Mm. I said, here, I wanted to do this Christmas show here 13 years ago, and it's called Christmas City. Of course it would be. So I bump into him. And I work in the Mohegan Sun in Connecticut. It was a big day. Mm -hmm. And we're talking. He says to me, well, I got to go to Bethlehem. I said, Bethlehem, Pennsylvania? He goes, yeah. So what do you do there? He goes, I have a car show at the event center at Sands. I said, JD, listen to me. I said, I have literally prayed. And I'm not kidding when I say pray. I mean literally prayed. But I was able to do this Christmas show of mine in Bethlehem. You think you could put a good word in for me? So I get on stage last night. I tell the story to the audience. I look out and go, and what does God do? He builds a casino. <laughs> <laughs>